Now High School in Elmina, um, a resident or uh, an indigenous of Brewer in the Central Region, a member of Calvary Methodist Church in Adabraka, and a teacher of St. John Methodist Academy. <laughs> Yes, Salim. Salim, Mohamed Salim. <laughs> well, I'm belly, upper wash region. Yes. You, know, you, you, you decided to be laconic. You decided to be brief. Your friend, you know, uh, had an expression, long expression of who he is. You know, come now. Huh? He has what? Uh, Made one. Uh, when will you be promoted to what? <laughs> the position of, of Lieutenant Colonel. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, these are the people who are competing for honors in this competition. It's a very special competition under the Constitution of the Republic of Ghana. And so, uh, without further ado, uh, action stations, I think you all point for action. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition will start round one. Question one. Now, um, who's doing it? Christian, best I say. Yes, all of you are veterans. Best I say. Best I say. You see, the, the preamble. A preamble is an introductory and expressionary statement in a document that explains the document's purpose and its underlining philosophy. Now, when applied to the opening paragraphs of a statute, it may recite historical facts which are pertinent to the subject of the particular statute in question. You understand? Now, it is distinct. You know, from the long title or the enacting formula of, of, of the law. The 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana has a preamble. It has a preamble. Now, would you render the opening five words? You understand? That's the clue I have supplied. There are five words of the preamble of the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana, in which, again, for a clue, they are subsequent to those words, these words, in the name of the Almighty God. Supply the five words that follow. In the name of the Almighty God. We the people of Ghana. We the people of Ghana. Correct. <laughs> in the name of the Almighty God, of course. You understand? What should follow is we the people of Ghana. Now, you will declare the closing statement. We dealt with the opening statement, but the close, uh, closing statement is what I demand. The closing statement of the preamble to the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Don. Uh, it has said John. Yes, sir. Uh, you're named after Sir John of Sir John Fame. <laughs> not really. No, not really. Yeah. Oh, you also say a different, a separate Sir John. Sir John number two. <coughs> but I thought you mentioned a Kumasi. Yeah, Kumasi Kumasi. Uh, uh, mine is Sir John Kumasi Kumasi. Oh, Sir John, <laughs> and then there's an addendum. Yes. Kumasi Kumasi. Yeah. That's correct. But Kumasi Kumasi, answer this one for us. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> you understand? So you declare the closing statement. Uh, Yagaro. Pass. You understand? Yes, the closing one. Who hereby adopts and enact the 1992 constitution? Mm. What about you, Salim? Do we hereby adopt, enact, and give ourselves this constitution? Yours is a cut above the answer supply. Come on, come on, supply an answer all right, you understand? Uh, it, it, it was cogent, you know, to a very large extent. But yours was certainly a cut above. So one point, Salim! <laughs> uh, I, I think that you missed out on a small area, but it's all right. Do we hereby adopt? enact and give to ourselves what do you say there yeah, this, give con ourselves. this constitution so and give to ourselves give to ourselves yes this constitution that is correct don't worry huh? <laughs> do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution i'm telling you see according to the cambridge dictionary a chapter is any of the separate parts into which a book or other piece of text was divided and usually given a number or title. The 1992 Constitution of Ghana is divided into chapters. The first chapter talks about the Constitution, but what does Article 1 of the first chapter talk about? Article 1. Are you reading law? No, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> It talks about the constitution itself. What does it, what is the subject, you know, 
uh, but I would want, you know, a production of those specific words. Pass. Yes. Shit. Hey, folks. Well, I would not go further on that. Pass, I say. It describes, it says, this constitution. So it shall talks about this constitution system. It's still a play, you know, but John. Kumasi, Kumasi. It talks about the loss of Ghana. Of course, of course it does. I mean, that is the initial, the primal information, you know, which was put forward by Salem. But you, that girl. Sovereignty of the people of Ghana. No. Governor. It talks about the powers of the, the supremacy of the Constitution. The supremacy. Huh? The supremacy of the Constitution of Ghana. But you see, again, uh, sorry, sovereignty is a full mm -hmm. right and power mm -hmm. governing body over itself. It's still uh, uh, Salim. Now, and it is without any interference from outside sources or bodies. In political theory, sovereignty is a substantive term designating supreme authority. Now, it, in simple terms, sovereignty is the supreme, the supreme power and authority, period. You understand? Where, according to the 1992 Constitution, does the sovereignty of Ghana reside? It resides in the people of Ghana. Of course, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> it, cannot, it cannot reside in the people of Togo. <laughs> you understand? It resides in you. It resides in the people of Ghana. Listen. Law is a system of rules which a particular country or community recognizes as regulating the actions of its members and which it may enforce by the imposition of penalties. Now, there are several laws and regulations in Ghana. Declare the supreme law of Ghana. The Constitution. Of course, the Constitution of Ghana. Yeah. Now, yeah, applause for applause. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the applause. Now, you see, but I, I, according to the Constitution, and you understand, who is taxed with the right or duty to defend the Constitution? The people of Ghana. The people of Ghana is correct. <laughs> huh? All citizens of Ghana. Huh? That right. <laughs> but you see, uh, 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 chapter two, you understand? You, you ought to have a complete grasp you know, control inside out, you know, um, control over the Constitution. Huh? You know, that yeah. And so in Chapter 2 of the 1992 Constitutional Republic of Ghana, what is there? Territories of Ghana. Territories of Ghana is there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Territories of Ghana. Huh? So you see, when you must be conversant, you must know the Constitution inside out. You must know it backwards. You, you understand? So when I ask you for the, to supply the chapter in which this particular item can be located, you should readily provide the information without any hindrance. Huh? Without let or hindrance. Uh, Pabla, hear you. Now, the sovereign state of Ghana is a type of republic which consists of those territories comprised in the region which immediately before the coming into force of the constitution existed in Ghana, including the territorial sea and airspace. Now, what type of republic, according to the second chapter of the constitution, hmm, is Ghana? The first republic. What type of republic? Unitary republic. I think you've now, you've now found your religion. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was the first answer? What, what, was the first, what was the first answer? What did you see at I first? Said, um, the Fourth Republic. <laughs> the, four, <laughs> the Fourth Republic. So the other republics are exempted. Yeah? All the other republics are subsumed, you know, under the, the, the instructions of this constitution, which, which was promulgated in 1992. Now, um, uh, Salim. Uh, Salim. Salim. According to Chapter 3 of the constitution, which talks about citizenship. Every person who, on the coming into force of this constitution, is a citizen of Ghana by law, shall continue to be a citizen of Ghana. You understand? And today, I think that we have a duty to educate the public on the strict 
tenets, you know, of the Constitution of Ghana, yeah, on a regular basis. Also, a child of not more than a certain age found in Ghana whose parents are not known shall be presumed to be citizens, a citizen of Ghana by birth. Now, what age is the Constitution referring to in this context? 18 years. Sorry? 18 years. I don't think so. 7 years. What do you mean by 7 years? Sorry? I'll allow you. Put, put your right here. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't think so. Yes, um, uh, Christian. Not less than 7 years. You, you no? <laughs> John. No. Not more than seven years. Not more than seven years. You understand? It's a little different. <laughs> I, 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 I am very tempted, you know, to go into the side of Salem, you know, but upon second thought, it is not correct. You understand? The specific is not more, it's not just seven or less, but not more than seven. I think that it's an entirely different caboodle. Yes, um, uh, Willie, Willie, listen without prejudice to Article 94.2 of the Constitution, no citizen of Ghana shall qualify to be appointed as a holder of any office specified in this clause if he holds the citizenship of any other country in addition to his citizenship of Ghana. Now, one of these officers in question here is Secretary to the Cabinet mention any other office in this realm in this category Mem member of no, parliament. No, i think i should allow all the others yeah. you understand so mention yours member of parliament member of parliament member of parliament or any ministerial so no, position. Wait, wait, no no i guess just take it easy you said member no, of parliament member of parliament no or any ministerial position, deputy or ministerial position? No. Liberal. Commissioners of Electoral Commission. Commissioners of what? Electoral Commission. Commissioners of Electoral Commission. I disagree. Supreme Court judge. I disagree. Governor. Justice of charge. How can that be? I disagree. Uh, oh, the bell is not allowed the second floor. I think he or she cannot head any of the security agencies. But no, I said mention any office. Okay, Chief of Defense Staff. Chief of Defense Staff! Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, um, uh, Christian. The President. The President? Look, my friend. The Minister of State. Well, I think somebody mentioned that one, yeah. you know. Uh, uh, John, no I started you that. started this train yes. of horror. <laughs> now, you see, it's Ambassador High Commissioner, Chief of Defense Staff or any service staff, Inspector General of Police, Commissioner Customs, Excise and Preventive Service, the Director of Immigration Service, any office specified by an Act of Parliament. End of round one. If I finish, I will Bringing hope to many around the globe. Your habits determine the outcome of your life. 90% of what you do every day, you do them without thinking. It's a habit. Before you blame a witch, before you blame your husband, before you blame your wife, before you blame somebody else for your problems, Look at the 90% of your habits. Live in Word with Pastor Mensa Otterville on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. on GTV. Live in Word, inspiring you to be. Wo peni pa, wo bibia hucha, no wo do pa. 
Obiat me ba yen shie mu bi. Oni we busu enyi na betimi aba bi. Meme ne da na kwesi ada bi a ye shie mu obi de simedua san chere Bible mu. Won a won nya dance for pa ne koma wo. Yen shie mu ba konso, enye Bible nko ana yesua. Wo san tete yen ma ye hu nipa mu kasa. Obiat me ba Christopher shie mu no bi. Enye ye ho dance for nko a. Wo ba ye ho dance for shie mu a. Benya Bible in church, and the poor Hobema when you are Jay. Now, bet me you and Uncle Poy. Yes, sir. See a memory that you may be a no nine person or noon. I will GT be so. And you could see a den you may be a no no pair of person on Siam Pem. You best show. The Glorious Church is a reflection of God's beauty character and nature the glorious church is god's workmanship created for good works light for a dark world and salt for the earth the glorious church must be pure and impactful for it is the only institution mandated to bring life and hope to the nations plug in to the annual theme of the church of Pentecost for 2020 a glorious church to possess the nations come let us drink deep from the word through which we are being cleansed and washed to become a radiant church. Welcome to Pentecost R, God's timely word for our dying world. Tutor, the Youngster Senior High School, Adenta, has three points. Hobna <laughs> Abaka Fahudi Adabraka Akra also has three points. John Awuni, Akra Newtown, has four points. Christian Pesese Akra has six points. And in the lead as at now is Salim Ahmed Salim Walembele in the Sisala East District of the Upper West Region with seven points. Yes, once more, applause. Yes, let's, let's applaud you know, the performance uh, of Salim Ahmed Salim at the end of the first round of the competition, but this is only the beginning. We're now going to pursue two more rounds in this competition. So let's see what happens huh? in this, these rounds of the competition. Round two, question one. John, John, you see, uh, I have advised you to be, to be well-versed, you know, strive to be well-versed in the Constitution. What does chapter four of the 1992 Constitution talk about? It talks about the laws of Ghana. The laws of Ghana, that's correct. I think that you might introduce this as what is normally designated mental, you know. Mental is normally referred, you know, is applicable to mathematics and so on. But there could be mental on all these matters. Mm -hmm. Mental. Chapter 4. Yeah, chapter 2. Yes, I want it. Chapter 3. No, no, that's not a question. Uh, John. Um, yes, I want it. Sorry, uh, uh, Yagbero. Oh, Yagbero. According to the Constitution, what is your understanding of the constitution, sorry, of customary law, you know, in accordance with the stipulations of the constitution? What do you think is customary law by the constitutional definition? The common law that exists in the communities of Ghana. Hmm. Or the rules and regulation that exists in the communities of Ghana. Well, let's, let's see whether uh, Kobna can... Well, well, there are traditional laws that are specific to every geographical location in Ghana. You and see, you're applying an educated guess, you see. It's a sensible application of your own understanding <laughs> of things. <laughs> you understand? But that is not a strict thing. So, Salem, let's see whether you can, you know, enhance the quality of the answers already provided. I think the first thing customs and traditions that apply to a particular 
community, town or village. I think I will remember that one. You understand? He took advantage. I don't know. But he, of course, is, is a, 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 a very you know, important contestant, I mean, notable contestant. He is, he has that scholarship. But I don't know whether he put together all the pieces which you provided. Of. You see, because the rules of law, which by custom are applicable to particular communities in Ghana, the rules of law, which, and I think that there's a particular uh, item which is salient you know, to righteousness in the answer, the custom, you did not provide a yellow law. Rules of law which by custom are applicable to particular communities. Chapter 5 of the Constitution is so critical to the people of Ghana that it must be protected by all. What is Chapter 5? Fundamental human rights. Fundamental human rights! Uh, let me halt a little. <laughs> I'll give you two out of three. I'll give you two. The full title, the full fundamental human, human rights, rights of Ghanaians. No, don't worry. Fundamental human rights and freedoms. And freedoms. You understand? <laughs> so two out of three. Uh, Christian, yes. now a person who is arrested, restricted, or detained for the purpose of bringing the bringing him before a court in execution of an order of a court or upon reasonable suspicion of his having committed or being about to commit a criminal offense under the laws of Ghana and who is not released shall be brought before a court within a period after the arrest, restriction or detention. What is the period? It's in 48 hours. 48 hours of <laughs> If we all have the basic understanding of the Constitution, a lot of these controversies which arise uh, uh, would not develop. They would not arise. These, uh, what do you call it, uh, controversies uh, in the political arena. All, oh, listen to this one. The content of this chapter shall guide all citizens. Parliament, the President, the Judiciary, the Council of State, the Cabinet, political parties, and other bodies and persons in applying or interpreting the Constitution or any other law and in taking and implementing any policy decisions for the establishment of a just and free society. What chapter is this? Chapter 24. No, what's the name of the chapter? What's the name? You have a row. Chapter 6. No, I said what is the name, not the number. Direct policy. Give me the direct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the direct answer. Come now. Directive principles of state policy. I'll allow that one. I'll allow that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, the, the thing was so hazy, you know. Huh? In, in the mind of, of John, John could not arrange the material huh? in its apple pie order, and that is why he failed. The directive principle, and he said what? Direct. The direct. But the answer was not direct. The directive principle of state policy. Come now. So you did this one. So let's see uh, whether you still have direction. What does chapter 7 of the Constitution talk about? Chapter 7. The legislature, the executive. If I allow you, we go on and on. <laughs> the next one we got, if it's legislature, the executive, the next one we got, judicial. Mm -hmm. Sign! It deals with the representation of the people. It is correct! It is correct! <laughs> if you understand, <laughs> it is unquestionably mm. correct, unreservedly correct. Huh? Directly correct. <laughs> it is super fragile. Califragilistic. <laughs> <laughs> so, Salim, um, listen, every citizen of Ghana of a certain age and of sound mind has the right to vote and is entitled to be registered as a voter for the purposes of public elections and referenda. What age are we talking about here? 18 years. 
and above. You are lucky. <laughs> 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 You can buy yourself. <laughs> so it is not just 18 years simpliciter, but 18 years what and above. and above. This is only this is the only answer that would attract huh? the quiz masters, you know, and mingled sympathy. Huh? Me. For three, uh, it is you. Uh, but, say, say. Now listen, which constitution institution in Ghana? Oh no, I don't ask that question. <laughs> oh, obviously, yeah, you know why. Obviously, I mean, it's, it's so direct. Huh? Which constitution, institution is taxed with organizing elections in Ghana? I want that question. <laughs> <laughs> Especially, you know, we've gone through elections. We've gone through elections. We, we have gone through an election year. Huh? And we've witnessed so many, you know, electioneering matters up and down. I won't ask that question. But listen to this one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Objection sustained. Indeed. That's what I said. Now that I have jumped, listen. What, according to the 1992 Constitution, should the Electoral Commission consist of? What, what makes the body of the Electoral Commission? Consists of a chairman, two deputies, and four members. For other members. What, what deputy? What, what do you mean, deputy? Two deputy commissioners. You are correct. Now put one together. <laughs> <laughs> the chairman, huh? The two deputy chairmen, and what? Four members. That's correct. Now, uh, John, John, uh, for three points. Listen, who, according to the Constitution of Ghana, has the right to join a political party? Any citizen of uh, sound mind. Any citizen of, of sound mind. Any Ghanaian citizen of sound mind can so join it. Okay, it's madman. Sound. It, 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 it prohibits. Yes. You know, those who are non compost mentors. Yes. That's what you mean. Yes, sir. If you're mad. You're not bad. <laughs> oh, you, you can't be a member of Well, it is not correct. Mm. Yeah, bro. Any person who is more than 18 years and of sound mind. You, you, you want to add more to it. This sounds my principle. Who says that? Hmm? Governor. Yes, Governor. A citizen of Ghana who, who, who has attained the age of 18 years and above and of sound mind and... <laughs> you, 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 you want to <laughs> further graduate. You understand? You want to graduate. No? Salim. Any Ghanaian citizen, 18 years and above, and is a registered voter. Well, okay, I, I, I will allow that one, you see, but... Uh, oh, no, I will not. I'm sorry. <laughs> Christian, please, please, the question is... <laughs> <laughs> now that you know, the whole thing is puzzling, he wants, you know, a clarification of, of the subject matter. Who, according to the Constitution, has the right to join a political party. Every citizen who is qualified to be a registered voter. I think I'll allow that one. You understand? Yeah? Put your hands together for it. No, I you understand where the thing is coming from. You said what? What did you say? I said the person should be a registered voter. Um, but he says it's qualified to be a registered voter. No, 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 voter. you added something more than registered voter. I said 18, 18. years and above. And then so you added something. Then a registered <laughs> voter. <laughs> oh, uh, no, you, I don't, oh, I don't you said you should be a registered voter. Yes, that's what no? I said. Uh -huh. But you, do you add registered voter here? Qualified to. He said qualified voter. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Every citizen of Ghana of voting age. Mm -hmm. You understand? No, no, but qualified to vote. <laughs> Let's not satisfy the requirement. Honestly speaking, qualified to vote. Of, of, you know, you, have you had a turn, John? I started. Yeah, started. Yes, but I, I don't think. Every citizen of Ghana of voting age. You, you understand? <laughs> so maybe the person may not be qualified to vote, but could be a member of a political party. You could still be a member of a political party. 
Uh, you understand? Yes. I mean, you you'll be a member of the party. You may not vote. Sure. So it does not stop you, you know, from <laughs> you know um, joining a political party. So the answer is that every citizen of voting age, that's all, has the right to join a political party. Listen, uh, John. Now, before assuming office, the president shall take and subscribe the oath of allegiance and the presidential oath set out in the second schedule to the Constitution. Where does the president take this oath? Uh, parliament House. Uh, before Parliament. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. But, but we, by law, listen. Now, what does Chapter 9 of the 1992 Constitution talk about? Chapter 9. Legislature. Yeah, Guru. Chapter 9. Judiciary. No. Uh, come now. Come now. Middle 1. Not so. Not so. Middle 1. Where is middle 2? <laughs> come now. You're out. Salim. The arms of government. Or the, okay, there's the arms of government. The 19. Sorry. The chapter 9. <laughs> the President. legislature. But somebody mentioned that. Oh, you are talking about a different legislature. <laughs> this is the legislature. Chapter 9. Somebody mentioned legislature and I said no. Mm. Or you think the quiz must say it's not correct. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, the, you started. The, the, oh. I started. Executive. The Council of States. Now, listen. Now, um, state the main function, you understand, of the Council of States. State the main function, main, you understand, the integral portion of the role. What is it? To advise the president. Sorry? To advise the president. Well, I'll allow you. <laughs> 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 The main function is but you see, I could have not, I'll give you two out of out of three. I won't give you all the three. You understand? Because the main function, and I will tell you where you know the the, the paralysis of the answer. They counsel the president in the performance of his functions. You don't advise the president about what he should do at home. But in the performance of his functions, two out of three, end of round two. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing hope to many around the globe. Your habits determine the outcome of your life. 90% of what you do every day, you do them without thinking. It's a habit. Before you blame a witch, before you blame your husband, before you blame your wife, before you blame somebody else for your problems, look at the 90% of your habits. Live in Word with Pastor Mensah Otterville on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. on GTV. Live in Word, inspiring you to be. Televisa presents... When someone takes from you what you love the most. Somebody help! Can anyone hear me? We need help! And your soul is shredded in pain. Hey! The heart becomes of stone and refuses to love again. I don't like people who don't know how to show respect. Is that so? That's a pity then, because I don't like people who mistreat me either. Make my life hell. But if you mess with my daughter, you'll regret it. And even the coldest of hearts. May allow love yet again. Because in this land, the fruit of pain is not always sour. Irina Baeva.
Gabriel Soto and a wonderful cast. Along came love. At the end of the second round of the competition, Kobna Abaka Fahuji has four points. <laughs> Anthony Oyagbero has five points. John Awuni has ten points. Christian Pesese has 12 points. And still in the lead is Salim, Ahmed Salim, with 14 points. Uh, Fahuzi, yes, you, you, you'll be coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, of course, we have the, the scores at the end of the second round of the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Yeboa and Kroma, Kofi Bedu of Kofi's Kofain, Mr. Enes Bidiako Sampo of Enes Kamis Fain, his siblings, his cousins, nephews, and nieces expressed their gratitude to all those who joined them yesterday in the seventh day commemoration of the death of Enes Bidiako of Bidiako Brothers Fain. May the good Lord attend all of you in his kindness and mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, a glorious birthday to Joseph Nia Block. Soa of Tessie District Young Adult Fellowship, YAF. He is the Assistant Secretary of Tessie District, YAF. And may his new age bring more joy and happiness than he even expected. And this has come from Sir Collins Mensa. Round three, question one. Ladies and gentlemen, for information, we'll be entering the quarterfinal of the 2020 competition. And for group one, we have Victor Amate Mauli Duce. Anthony Cizalo A. Latif, you see, John Chapere, uh, uh, Stephen Anyan and Silver Sateti, uh, they must take notice. 24th January 2021, Mauli Dusi Anthony, Victor Amate, Cizalo A. Latif, you see, John Chapere, um, Stephen Anyan, Silver Sateti. Round three, question one. And, um, Listen, which, but you know what, what, what your name implies. Yes. Justice emanates from the people and, and shall be administered in the name of the Republic by the judiciary, you know, which shall be independent and subject only to the Constitution. Who, by the provisions of the Constitution, is the head of the judiciary? The Chief Justice. Of course, he is <laughs> the head of the judiciary. Yes, yes, Justice, you know, I mean, your boy. Now, Salem, what does Chapter 12 of the Constitution contain directly? The legislature. The legislature. I, I, I disagree with you. In total. The, the judiciary. Chapter 12. Independence of the media. I'll we'll talk about the media in general. Oh, Lord, you won for it. Applause. One point, Chapter. Uh, professor, uh, professor, the freedom and independence of the media. You understand? The freedom. So for a bonus, I think that I can exercise that discretion in your favor, you know, without lack of hindrance. Freedom and independence of the media. Christian, under which authority are taxes? No, no, uh, you tell me this one for three points, you know, and you tell me whether it is true or false. Yeah? One attempt and it is not transferable. No authority, no person or authority shall raise any police service except by or under the authority of an act of parliament. True or false? True. True, thank you very much. <laughs> now listen, the Inspector General of Police shall be appointed by the President acting in consultation with Parliament. True or false, John? It's false. False, thank you very much. But acting, uh, acting with whom? 
Oh, the it's police council. council. <laughs> yeah, lucky. <laughs> we didn't go there. <laughs> Actually, you know, in consulting the Council of State. Uh, yeah, bro. Now, except as provided by this constitution or by any other law not inconsistent with this constitution, the Commission of Human Rights and Administrative Justice and the Commissioners shall, in the performance of their functions, be subject to the direction or control of the President. False. Sorry? False. False. Well, bro. Thank you. Well, now, now, there shall be established by an act of Parliament within six months after Parliament first meets, you know, uh, after the coming into force of the Constitution, a National Commission for Civic Education. The Commission shall consist of a chairman, two deputy chairmen, and four other members. Members of the Commission shall be appointed by the President, acting on the advice of the electoral commission true or false very false oh very false <laughs> <laughs> probably false you know um so Salim, now members of the constitution of the commission and cce shall be persons who do not hold office in any political party true or false true Oh, two, your two was too big for me. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is true, and of course that gives you uh, the, the, the points over there. Now, um, how many are you? One, two, three. So I don't think I can go any further than that. But listen to this one for three points. Um, is it uh, Christian? Christian. Christian. Corruption is one main issue that has been talked about. As a, as, a, as a major bay, you understand? We talked about repetitively, you know, as, the, as a, a bane to Ghana's socio economic and political development. You understand? So the matter has, you know, been advertised ad nauseum since independence. Huh? What is corruption, you know, as officially defined, you understand? Corruption is the abuse of a position of trust or conduct for uh, personal gain. Abuse of a position of trust for parochial interest or personal gain. Abuse of position of trust for what? Personal gain. Mm. I think I, I need further development. Further development. Corruption, Corruption. Corruption is the fraudulent acquisition of uh, wealth or money by office holders or by people in power. That is another parochial aspect, as it were. But, yeah, girl. It's a fraudulent and dishonest acts by any person in authority. It's a bit, it begs a question. Come uh, now. It is the use of public office for Fahundi. private gain or benefit. Sorry? It is the use of public office for private gain or benefit. Yes. Sorry. I think it is a misuse of entrust, entrusted power for personal gains. I must I congratulate all of you because you all provided, you know, bits and pieces of the answer. All of you, you understand? So, um, Salim's answer, for example, if it had been conjoined with Kognaz Abakan, would have satisfied the requirements of the prison master. Uh, excellently. Because he provided the use of public office for private gain and so on. And then you provided the other aspect, the misuse of entrusted power. But I wanted a combined effect, combined a combination of these two aspects. Because the first part is that it is the use of public office for private or personal gain. Using and some of you left out the, the concept of public office. It is critical in this in this sense. You understand? We are not dealing with fraud or anything outside that scope. We're dealing with public office. So the use of public office for personal gain which some of you provided, and the other aspect provided by Salim, or the, the misuse hmm, of entrusted power for personal gain. You see how the thing works. 
the use of public office for private or personal gain or the misuse the use and the misuse the misuse of entrusted power for you understand for personal gain now um i think we'll, we'll tackle this particular area for finality listen uh who starts this one now apart from bribery and extortion you'll give any one example of a corrupt practice now you understand so go straight to the point you know um, <clears throat> you, you, you understand? Do not give any long, winding statements. Here. Simple statements. One example of corruption, one by one. Nepotism. Nepotism. Well, I don't have it, but I think it is correct. Yeah. Of course, it is correct. It's a wide area. So, John. Money laundering. Money laundering is correct. Thank you. Uh, Yadero. Human trafficking. Oh. The, the public officer. Sir. Sir, you're going to go to cyber for <laughs> Yadero is hot. <laughs> Human trafficking. Uh, so a public officer will, uh, will be carrying people to Nigeria and so on. <clears throat> uh, come now. Chronism. Chronism on whose part? On the part of public office holders. Chronism goes with nepotism. <laughs> I, I do not think that I, I will accept that. But if it goes with nepotism, then it's, so nepotism is a big umbrella. You understand? It's a big um, umbrella under which can be subsumed chronism. So I'm afraid. Salim! I think. Petty thievery in the office or in, in offices. Oh, yeah, misappropriation. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> uh, that's misappropriation. Huh? So, uh, but basically, there, there are so many others which you uh, fail to deal with. You know, mismanagement of resources, misappropriation, embezzlement, fraud, conflict of interest, influence peddling, patronage, misuse of official time or property. Tax evasion, illegal acquisition of wealth, money laundering, and other competition. Presents. When someone takes from you what you love the most. Somebody help! Can anyone hear me? We need help! And your soul is shredded in pain. <laughs> the heart becomes of stone and refuses to love again. I don't like people who don't know how to show respect. Is that so? That's a pity then because I don't like people who mistreat me either. Make my life hell. But if you mess with my daughter, you'll regret it. And even the coldest of hearts may allow love yet again. Because in this land, the fruit of pain is not always sour. Irina Baeva, Gabriel Soto, and a wonderful cast. Along Came Love. Wo peni pa, wo bibia hucha, no wo do pa. Oh, beat me by and shame, Munubi. When you were boosting, you nabbed me a baby. Mimin and Dana, Cassia, they be a shame.
competition. Anthony Oyagbero, tutor, the youngster's senior high school, Adenta Accra, had eight points. <laughs> Kobna Abaka Fahudi Adabraka Accra had ten points. John Awuni, Accra New Town, had 16 points. <laughs> Christian Pesese Accra had 19 points. <laughs> and with 20 points, Salim Ahmed Salim, Welembele in the Sisala East District of the Upper West Region, came tops. Thank you very much. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as follows, have been declared, and as you rightly heard, a person who is triumphant at the end of the whole proceedings is no other person than the individual well-known in what you know circles from Wellenbele in the Sisala East District of the Upper East Region, West Region of the Republic of Ghana. Welcome, Salim Ahmed Salim. <laughs> Next time, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon all of you and grant you peace. On this note, now, to the same time, next week, we bring you questions from archaeology to who all of you in the have of my producer, Francis Benson, Chris Labody, Collins Benson, Samuel Logo, Frank Tetiado, Chris Latin Craft, Felix Abiviade, Stephen Afuakwa, Victor Niadi, Brad Mingo, Swana Kramu, Clifford Wirum, Sardinan Mensa, Kangeda, Lagaton. This is Vinny Quizmaster, Dana Ferry, about asking you here. And those out there, it is what, what, what? What, what do you know? know?